I'm Longy. And in this video, I recorded myself coaching uh, a good friend of mine. I'm not a pro coach. Uh, I did this for the third time or something. So don't expect too much from me, but I enjoy the sessions a lot. I'm having a lot of fun and I hope you can learn something from it. So without further ado, start the video. Um, where are the replays? Here. Um, for love, <laughs> <laughs> for love, 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 appreciate it. <laughs> Why are you called Olimar one two three four six seven? Oh, the nice and cringe. I don't know. Yeah, my, my, it's very fucking friend. cringe, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm starting. You wouldn't get it. Yeah, yeah, probably wouldn't be honest. Fresh jeans. Why, why, why? You, you could go there, bro. That's a, that's a good start. Like, bro, just go, <laughs> bro, just go for it. <laughs> no, man, I, I'm, 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 I'm serious. Because your, your teammate goes for the, uh, for the kickoff, and he just turns away. So he's turning backwards, or like he's facing own net. There's nothing holding you back to actually go. You don't have to fully rush on the opponent. You can just pressure him at least and then decide on whether you want to challenge him or like fake challenge him or I don't know because your teammate was behind you. Yeah, that yeah. I mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I even I even told Michael to uh, leave it for me. Yeah, and, uh, and he still went for it. Yeah. Like, this, this <laughs> smells like a double commit. <laughs> so yeah, you, you turn there, you see him going. Yeah, it's, 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 it's shit when you call it and he still goes for it. I mean, I would say it's his ball, but yeah. it's shit that he goes even though you call it. And, and we always have the rule that the first one who calls, he goes for it. Alright. It's fine. So there also... I don't like that he's coming in so early because you're still in the corner and you know what we say about the corners I what I would love to see here is that he is more patient I mean, that's not a mistake by you, but he should be more patient because if he comes here If he comes in here and that guy here decides to challenge it as, as well and drives up here and actually wins the challenge then you got yourself and your teammate in the corner and yeah. the, the net is wide open. Okay. That's kind of, it's kind of awkward. If you would have rotated earlier and he would have waited for you to rotate out and then went for the ball, you would have been far post again to, yeah. to take the ball uh, more easily. Yeah. But this way, he gives away the possession and you're still in that corner. You see that the ball is still in the corner. It's it's not going that fast towards the goal. So I wouldn't drive backwards and try to get it with this awkward flick. Okay. What I would have done is here. I would have, because you got uh, full boost, I would have just hit the gas, maybe boosted some, drive around here and rotate far post or like not far post, but. I would have rotated it into the net, uh, at least. If you would have been here, and you see how the ball goes, and you are here, that is yeah. easier, way easier to challenge than from there where you are. Okay. Yeah, it's really, it's really awkward. And as we see, what I, what I like uh, a lot, of course, we all see you conceded on that one because you were both in the same corner. So yeah, don't be in the same corner. It's gay. <laughs> you could have um, just stayed at the ground longer here. You jump so early, the ball will fly like it will go up and then eventually it, it will go down a bit. And when you jump here, you have to predict where the ball will be when you are here. So just stay at the ground, drive this this way. And when you're here, then you jump because you don't have to predict the whole uh, flight of the ball just have yeah. to predict where the ball will go from here on there and that's way okay. easier to reach then mm. now your mate he could have gone he could have gone like you're back like what what should happen yeah you're back you got some boost 
he could have just uh, gone for it. Even if Tom Duaul, the guy there, even if he yeah. would have outplayed your mate, so you, would have been, you would have been there yeah. to take the ball. It's a good challenge. <laughs> a nice musty flick, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. It's a risky challenge here, but you you managed to do well. Because you see, there's there's no one behind you. Because you see, your teammate is back there. If your opponent would have hit the ball around you, like back wall, it would have bounced off the back wall again, and he would have been there for an easy goal. It's a tough one. A bit awkward. <laughs> Ooh, people double tap in your rank. Yeah, I'm timer one and on game on timer one. <laughs> Bro, I can't even double tap. <laughs> the problem here is that you're you're making things difficult okay. yourself. Yeah. It's like it's a normal ball, but due to that weird power slide you do there, you find yourself in such an awkward spot that is really difficult to hit the ball. Instead of flipping that way, which closes which closes the area you can you can uh, act in to this one here. Mm -hmm. You could have went more this way and rotated far post because if you would have been far post for that ball, whoa, this this camel looks shit. If you would have been here, that's a rather easy ball that you could yeah. take. Fine. Good follow. Take the boost, good. I would go out of the play now. Because there's not really much you can do there. I mean, you got yeah. the boost and boost is always good. But you are behind the ball. You're facing your own half. <laughs> That's a good fake. Ah, oh, your teammate isn't there. It's unfortunate. It, it was a really good idea. Here again, don't, don't, stay, don't stay at the side of the ball. Just... Uh, pick up some some boost some small boost pads and rotate back and then end up being far post because okay. this this like you can't really do anything there there you are <gasps> again i don't know let's see it from oh, fuck wrong button let's see it from your teammate's perspective yeah, he picks up the boost. He's ready to yeah, challenge I that. He's ready to challenge that. Yeah. But you here, you greedy little boy, <laughs> you're turning, cutting him off to get that ball again. If you would have just earlier, if you would have just rotated out, whoop, get yeah. out of the play, he would have been here, he could have challenged that. And he, he would have known that it was his ball. Okay. And now he's not sure. He's not sure what are you doing? Are you challenging? Are you fake challenging? Are you... It's it's hard to tell. So if you wouldn't be here, imagine you're don't existing here. It would have been clear for him. Okay, I can challenge this ball. There's no other teammates to fuck me up here. Such a simple rule, and it sounds so stupid, but it's so effective. If you just always keep in mind, okay, rotate away from the ball, rotate the opposite side of where the ball is towards your own net, rotate far post, and if, if, if you do that, you'll improve. You'll improve automatically. Even if it's sometimes hard to leave the ball where it is, but it's better because your teammate also wants to play, yeah? He bought his game, yeah. probably. He bought it before the free to play. He, 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 he paid fucking 20, 20 euros. He wants to play the yeah. game as well, yeah? Don't cut off your teammate all the time. He wants to play as well. He paid 20 euros. He wants to hit ball too. <laughs> well, let him hit ball. I can't really, I can't yeah, really okay, yeah, that's, that's, that's... It's unfortunate. I won't say anything to that. That's just a mechanical error. Yeah. I mean, you had a good good position there. You rotated far post. Uh, you saw that you had the time to take the, the corner boost as well. Yeah. But yeah. If you wouldn't have backflipped, that would have been an easy uh, easy ball. But yeah. things happen. Things happen. Th those those uh, situations are really difficult. I see them happen in 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 our gameplays as well. Because yeah. you clear the ball there, and you got momentum. You fly that way. It's physics. Mm -hmm. Like you go that way. You because like yeah yeah because physics. But your your mate he kind of sees okay he just cleared the ball. It's or like a difficult clear. It's better. 
He did a difficult clear, so I should go for that ball now. But you got the momentum and they're still going for that ball. So in this situation, I would say it's, it's important to communicate because yeah. it's just really hard for your teammates to, to tell whether you can still go for that or not. <laughs> yeah, it's also not real for me. Should be fine. Yeah, good save. Uh, I don't like that touch. Yeah, we did it on. The unfortunate thing about that is that it's such a fast ball, so you don't have much time to react. But you could have just let it through. The ball would have gone through here. Yeah. You could have turned with it. The ball would have rolled up the wall somewhere. And you could have followed the ball up the wall to stay okay, in possession. Yeah. And, and this you could way, have gotten the boost as well, I think, right? Is it there? Probably, yeah. Doesn't matter actually. If the boost would have been there, he could you you could have you could have uh, taken it. If not, fuck it. You you have enough. That should be should be fine. Or this touch is very unfortunate because just imagine there's someone who's quick up into the air, who can consistently uh, hit balls on net. Mm -hmm. He would have been there. He would have punished you. Oh ho ho! Oh ho! Yep. Again. Do you hear? Do, do you hear him? Like, do you hear uh, other cars' uh, motors? Because when I, I when I watch this and I listen to it, I can already hear him. I can hear his motor from the right side. I can hear it on my right ear. I know he's coming. It's actually really, like, not OP, but it helps you orientating on the field, or like, it helps you you, you being aware of where your teammates are when you can hear them. So if you're uh, able to, to play with the game sounds and to hear where your mates are, you can be aware of where they are and then maybe um, prevent double commits. So what to, what to do? One of the big things you can work on is like rotating away from the ball. Don't rotate the side where the ball is going because that really fucks up your opponent. He will see you, he will see the ball, and he won't know what to do. Okay. And if you find yourself rotating with the ball, be aware of that and call that you're not going for that ball. Or when it's a really good uh, spot you find yourself in and you get boost and uh, you feel like, oh, this is my chance to score a triple flip reset, then call that you're going for the ball. Okay. But in first place, don't rotate with the ball. You don't want to be here. You want to be here. Pick up some of these juicy little pads. Mm -hmm. and far post Just and your out. teammate who will be here he will see my mate is rotating that way he won't touch the ball because it's impossible for him if he rotates that way so he knows okay it's my time to shine and he goes for that ball challenges it knowing that you rotate far post again so the, the so the goal is occupied if you can say it like that <laughs> like he can do stuff he knows what or he knows that it's his turn when you're still lurking around here somewhere, he, he's not sure. He won't be sure what to do. So just rotate back, back post and away from the ball. Yep. I'm really happy that I only saw one corner cuddle. Yeah, just remember, no, we don't want to have two, two cars of the same color in the same corner. That is not cool. Not cool. You see my head shaking? It's not cool. Yes, I guess all in all. That's it. Survivor's so